Welcome to MBAP. In this video, we are going to talk about the final 30 days intensive revision plan. Okay, because obviously we have your you have your CAT exam, which is on 29th of November. From now, if you see, you have exact 30 days of time, which requires you to do an intensive level of revision. And in this video, I'm going to do that, you know, share with you the entire revision plan that you should be following. In fact, I have broken down into two rounds, okay, round one and round two. In the first round of 15 days, we will be looking at 100% of the CAT syllabus, okay, we'll be looking at complete 100% of CAT syllabus. And in round two, we are going to have a quick round of revision again, understand? CAT is an exam which has got a lot of things that you are supposed to do. So definitely one round of revision is not enough in the final 30 days. You should have two rounds of revision. So I'm going to share with you exactly how you're supposed to do with all this, with whatever syllabus that you have covered, okay, even if you have not covered the entire syllabus, with the uh, syllabus that you have covered, how you are supposed to do your revision, I'm going to discuss that in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till the very end so that you get all the information. A quick reminder, in case you have come to our channel for the first time, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Instagram because you have daily updates coming up, okay, guidance videos coming up and college updates coming up on both the accounts. Okay, So please make sure that you have subscribed to our channel and following us on Instagram. Now, some of the genuine points of concern that a lot of students have is with regards to how to revise everything in last 30 days because if you see they're close to more than 70 topics okay that comes overall in your cat exam in a span of 30 days if you have to revise 70 topics how you're supposed to do these are some of the other other you know points of concern i'll come to each one of them in detail okay but before that this is what i want to highlight right now is we have a 15 days of power pack revision plan which is completely completely free okay uh, the registration for this is already going on okay i think close to more than 100 or 200 students have already registered for it okay and the registration link is down there understand if in these 15 days, they start from 1st of November till 15th of November, if you see we are covering 100% of the CAT syllabus here, okay, right from, let's say, for example, you're talking about the LR sets, okay, all the types, 1, 2, over here, we have 3, 4, and 5, 6, so 6 different types of LR sets, which in a way, if you see, is this year, if you, over here, you see that this is 20% of LRDI, this is a type of, like, the, the type 5 and 6 is something which comes a lot, that's why this is a more, this is a heavy weightage of LRDI, okay, that I've shown here. Otherwise, if you see, it is going to be 30% of cons that is, that is done in arithmetic algebra, 20% here. If you see down number systems, 10%, okay, in cons, modern math geometry is another area that we're going to cover up. So you have good amount of things being covered up. And as I say, we are covering 100% of your CAT syllabus in these 15 days of time. So you will have to give us your two hours on every day, which is 9 to 11 p.m. This is a list of MBAP faculties who will be taking it. Okay, Abhijit sir, I myself, Heather sir, okay, we have Ankur sir, Shivani ma'am. All of them are going to be a part of this power pack revision plan that you guys have to attend. Okay, so make sure that you are registering for it and attending it 9 to 11 p.m. on the MBAP platforms okay, where we'll be having this session. The registration link is down there. Please do register yourself so that you guys can attend this particular workshop. I mean, not workshop, but a series of revision sessions okay that we have planned for you guys now this is this is about 15 days where we are doing everything now comes the next 15 days which is 15 days of self-study revision plan to cover up these pointers okay I'll, I'll first go and cover these things so that you understand what exactly you're supposed to do okay in terms of these points of concern that you have now um to, to cover everything in 30 days, I have given you two plans, which is the 15 days of the revision series sessions that you have to attend. And the next 15 days is where you'll have to repeat these pointers and do a self-study. Understand, you? it's ultimately you who's going to get the score. It's ultimately you who's going to sit in that exam. So you have to self-study based on the revision pointers that we, that we give you in the first 15 days of time. Now, should, you know, should I still work on new topics? Because some of the students are still asking me, sir, there is one or two topics for five topics left. I have only one month of time. Should I focus on revision or should I work on my new topic? So I would say that if at all, if at all, there's something that you really feel that if these are uh, these are two, three topics or five topics, if you do that, definitely your score is going to take a jump. I will tell you that you can still invest five more days. Okay, or if not five, I mean, uh, I'm saying that till 5th of November, you can still invest your time towards doing new topic okay if by 5th of november if you're done with all the new topics that you have to do after that i don't think you should be even if there's something left leave it for now make sure that whatever you have done go back to them and start revision okay start your final revision what should be the frequency of mocks in the last 30 days i think the frequency of mocks okay which is two mocks a week that that i have already suggested to all all of my students you should be 
uh, you should be focusing that only in the last 30 days also. I mean, if at all you want to give more, you can give one more, okay, like uh, three mocks a week, that is also fine. But the last mock that you should give should be somewhere close to 20th, okay, or 22nd, okay, not after 22nd, because the 29th is going to be your exam. Last seven days, one week uh, of time, which is there in that also, if at all you want to give, I'm like, I will tell only one mock. But preferably, you should be giving your last mark by 22nd of November, not after that. Okay, and you have to set the frequency, which is same as before, which is two marks a week or three marks a week, whatever you were doing before. Now, maintain the balance of accuracy versus attendance. This is the very crucial thing. This is something that I've spoken a lot in my previous videos also. This is definitely with regards to the marks, okay? Out of which, what are you, what is more important? Obviously, your accuracy is more important. You get, you just attempt seven and get seven right. That is still good, okay? Because that you will be getting 21 questions that will be right here, okay? 21 marks that, you, that you're going to get, okay? Seven questions right, 100% accuracy, 21 marks that you're going to get. Okay, just understand, even if this is a score section where you have scored less, okay, in other areas you have scored more than 25, okay, you still end up getting a decent score, okay. So that's why guys understand that maintain your balance, okay, you know, the between accuracy and attempt, which is really, really important. Stabilize your question selection. This again is going to come up from your mocks only, okay, stabilize your question selection. So with time, you need to identify what is working out for you, what is not working out for you, and stabilize your question selection. That means... If at all you have selected seven questions, you should be able to maintain a seven on seven accuracy, which is 100% accuracy on this. This is what your question selection is all about. Your question selection is directly linked with your accuracy and your attempts. Okay, so this is how you have to maintain. And the last part is how to handle mishaps in exams. Now, this is something because a lot of times it happens with all the preparation, with all the good scores in your marks, still you can have certain mishaps in your exam because Anything can go wrong in a few minutes of time uh, in your exam with regards to the question that you have selected, a set that you have selected, you, you put in some good amount of effort and still you didn't get the re desired results. In that case, what are you supposed to do? In that case, understand, you have to come with a hard stop, okay? You have to come up with a hard stop in terms of the time that you're investing. Never get carried away. Never get carried away with the question of the set that, okay, the, I will, I might get an answer now, I might get an answer now, and this ends up putting, in, like students end up putting a lot of time that should not happen okay so that's that's something that you need to maintain here with regards to the hard stop thing follow these pointers that i've told you you know register yourself for this upcoming revision series which is there and make sure that 15 days round one you're doing with us 15 days of second thing that you're doing is a self-study okay the self-study of the same pointers okay same point is here you can go back and have the same number of days like one day for arithmetic one day for no, uh, the RC type one, type two sets. You can do the same thing for this, but this is where I'm. I am focusing on the self-study part. Understand because you have to gain confidence with your preparation. Okay, so if at all you just keep on attending sessions, that is also not going to help you. You have to sit down, analyze yourself, see this through the revision series videos that we're going to share with you. This is going to be live sessions. The recording is going to be shared with you guys. Okay, but make sure that you are attending this and getting the benefit of it. Okay, all the best. Okay, thanks for watching this video and uh, make sure that you share with your friends so that more and more people can benefit from the upcoming revision series. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.